Hi there friends, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Let's talk about what's going on across the tropics today, specifically here in the Philippines where we do have a very weak tropical wave interacting with a little bit of a shear line just towards the north and that is increasing some bounce of showers. Nothing organized by any means and nothing like our trivia question for today. What is a super typhoon according to Pagasa? Yeah, I'll let you uh, kind of look over these answers here and I'll put the answer in the, of course, in the uh, description below in on this video. But I want to want to start adding these trivias in here help to inform you. So you're ready in case we do get a major typhoon out here. Let's talk about how this is not a major typhoon by any means. Here's our shear line back towards the south. It's stretching all the way out here towards Guam and bringing some on and off precip. And then at the tail end of that is our little tropical wave moving on through. Now you look back towards north, there is another low coming in out of southeastern China. This is going to bring some showers to places like Okinawa over towards Taiwan, but also it's going to help kind of drift down towards the south over the upcoming days with our front, just like that. And this that interaction as we go ahead through Wednesday, even over towards Thursday, up increases some showers along the east coast of Luzon. And if we kind of get these butt up against each other, that's where we can start to see some localized uh, heavier showers. Now, like I mentioned, nothing widespread nor organized out of this, but it is a little respite of from the dry weather we have been seeing recently, especially with the ongoing El Nino here across the Philippines. So hopefully you do get some welcomed rainfall, but look at this all the way out through Saturday of this upcoming week. So about a 96 hour outlook. You got some scattered showers along the east coast of Mindanao, even back towards parts of Isaias, although not terribly widespread and also over towards Luzon as well. So everybody's going to get a little bit of rain here, but not a lot. Look at closer view here Tuesday over towards Wednesday. Specifically watch through the afternoon hours. So here you go, three, four, five, there's up to about noon. And then we get into the early afternoon. See how kind of that instability helps fire up some afternoon showers and thunderstorms across uh, parts of northern Luzon, where I know in the Cagayan Valley, they do need that rainfall. As mentioned, very localized, but it is in the forecast nonetheless. Wednesday's outlook, here you go for your flyover, and we're just going to kind of move on by here for places like late day, even over towards parts of Visayas. Afternoon showers are possible, albeit not terribly widespread, same over towards Pelawan. And then as we move back towards the north, Manila, I think you're going to be looking at some isolated showers here on your Wednesday. While well, it stays mostly dry in the west coast, yeah, I mean, there is a chance there. But if you're out here into region one like La Union, San Fernando, probably going to stay dry while showers remain mostly over towards Cagayan, Isabella, and even into Aurora as well. All right, so let me know if you like these updates being on the green screen uh, as well. I'm trying to get back to doing that. This little closer look kind of shows you what I'm talking about. Hopefully it's a good visual of where that shear line is and why we've been talking about, even look at that, some showers in and around the Guam area associated with that shear line. And then you start to see it kind of drift off towards the west. And once again, it is that interaction, that line of instability that's going to lift towards the north that we're going to be seeing those scattered afternoon showers here as we go ahead Wednesday over towards Thursday. See kind of that troughing here with the general easterly flow with still ongoing rip current risk in the Guam and the Mariana Islands and along the east coast of the Philippines. If you like these updates, though, hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to check out our Patreon. I'll never put this behind a paywall, but it does go a long way if you do help support the channel. A bunch of you uh, members here are super typhoons. Absolutely can't thank you enough for just helping out and keeping these updates going. So, yeah, let's get into the extended forecast for a few of you here. Somebody mentioned, you know, why don't you have that in there? Well, you know what? I'll make sure to try to keep on adding it for a five day outlook for a place like Shargao, Surf Capital of Mindanao. Big shout out to you guys. Cebu, yeah, you're going to be looking at those isolated showers here, especially Thursday over towards Friday. Temperatures are staying in the 30s by the weekend, though, this whole kind of trough is going to be going to start to clear out. And you should start to look at improving conditions. Same thing goes in Davao City. They're out in Mindanao with some scattered showers for you. While we look back further towards the north, we're going to be looking at, well, relatively cooler temperatures in Baguio. Scattered showers Tuesday, Wednesday, but especially Thursday and the Friday in those higher elevations. While the highs only stay into the mid-20s. That's definitely the coolest spot on the map if you want to go somewhere, I guess, relatively cooler. And then we'll wrap up with Manila. Sunny skies this weekend, but we have to worry about our little tropicals trough moving on through. 
bringing those showers Wednesday over towards Thursday. All right, that's a summary of your forecast for today across the Philippines and the Western Pacific. As I mentioned, if you have any questions, let me know. And number one thing, as always, is stay safe out there, friends.